so here we have the Acura RLX. Um, this is a very, very significant vehicle for Acura. Um, the brand uh, owned by Honda, obviously. Um, it's making a big push to kind of upgrade their, their image as far as they've been seen as a near luxury brand. Well, now they're going more towards being an actual luxury brand. And to do this, uh, to, feel, to have a luxury car, you have to have luxurious interiors. And with the RLX, it's a it's very, very clear that they're almost hitting the mark, but not quite. Um, first, we'll point out some of the um, better things about it. The seats here, they're very, very soft, very soft touch leather. Still very plush without being too plush. Looking at the stitching, you've got uh, double stitching on some of the um, armrests on some of the seats. Uh, single stitching around uh, the dash. Some of the drawbacks. Uh, you've got some wood grain here that's um, a little too plasticky for most luxury taste. Sometimes people will put in plastic to kind of keep the cost down. But the rest of the surfaces here, um, for example, around the vents here, around the center console and whatnot, um, you, can, you can feel it's plastic here, but it doesn't feel like plastic. It's a very nicer quality here. What I really liked was that you have multiple options to control. Uh, your radio. Um, I can control it here from the steering wheel um, very easily. Uh, switch between FM, AM, uh, satellite. I love the fact that there's a volume button here on the steering wheel that's very easy to maintain. Sometimes they'll put them uh, here and you have to kind of do one of these here, but here you can just go up and down pretty quickly. And one thing that I love that Honda does is that they put all their music categories in one. So if I want to go to a rock station, it'll take me to the first one in the satellite, and I go from there. Uh, the touchscreen, uh, very easy to use. Um, it just takes one touch to do it. Look here on the shifter, there's an upside down triangle that kind of resembles the, um, the Acura symbol. I don't know if the designers did that intentionally, but um, I thought that was a nice touch there. Uh, I've noticed testing a lot of these cars, it'll either come up too high, so when I'm trying to mess with my HMI over here, um, I'll kind of like hit it a little bit. But here, um, I've got enough space so I'm not you know, accidentally gonna knock it into reverse or something while I'm in the road. So I still have a lot of room, leg room in the back, even with the seat pushed back a little ways. Um, one, one advantage that I love was that you have heated seats in the back. You also have climate controls in the back. Um, there's a little bit of headroom uh, issue here. I'm a bit taller than the average, so maybe uh, that's a little unfair, but I'm kind of hitting the roof here. If you've got something long, like maybe a set of skis or bought a new broom or something like that, and you need some extra room, you've got this uh, little cubby that can uh, handle that. Oh, here we go. This I thought was a little cool thing. Uh, the cup holders coming out from the armrest here. Sometimes they'll be down here. Um, but the fact that they're up here is like you don't have to reach. Uh, there's plenty of trunk space, and um, if you lift up the um, cover there. There's a couple of little cubby holes for whatever you might have and then there's a, some further uh, space up under there for where the uh, spare tire would be. Um, all in all, to sum it up, um, I thought the R RLX was really nice uh, for what Acura is trying to do. Uh, there's still a couple of things that need to be worked out. I would probably de definitely um, consider using a higher quality wood grain, but all in all, I think this is taking them in the direction where they want to go and I think it's a solid entry in our interiors competition this year.